you have experience using Arduino, you'll be excited to know that you can use the Arduino IDE with DAISY. Hi, this is Takumi from Electrosmith, and in this video, we'll add DAISY support to Arduino IDE. By the end of this video, we'll be able to make DAISY blink using this development environment. Let's get started. For this video, we need DAISY, a computer, and a USB cable. So what is DAISY? Our DAISY C might remind you of an Arduino Nano at first glance. They both have digital and analog IOs and other common features. The main difference is that DAISY has audio ins and outs, so that means we can embed an audio program like this. What's exciting is that we can use the Arduino IDE with DAISY. I personally had experience using Arduino, so I started out programming DAISY with the same IDE. The process of learning DAISY became much more intuitive due to the familiar interface, and I hope you have a similar experience as well. Okay, click on the first link in the description to follow along. Then we need to click this link. Keep in mind that this wiki is not written by Electrosmith. Let's first install the Arduino IDE if you haven't yet by clicking on this link right here. Because DAISY is an STM32 board, our first task is to add support for that type of board to Arduino. Okay, let's open up the IDE and then click on Arduino IDE in the toolbar and then click on Preferences. For Windows, Preferences is in the File menu. Copy this link right here and then paste inside of Additional Boards Manager URLs which is located right here and click OK. Next, click on Tools and then go to Board and then click on Boards Manager. Click here and select Contributed. Then select and install STM32 MCU based boards. It'll take a few minutes. After it's complete, the word installed will appear in this corner right here. Okay, we can close out a board manager. Next, we can scroll down to this extra step. For us, this step is going to be necessary. Click on the link that says STM32 Cube Programmer. Go down here to select the OS of your choice. Read and accept the license agreement. Then type in your name and email address. Then open up your email inbox and you should see a new email which has the download link. Then open up the installer. For some Mac users, maybe all, you may have noticed that it doesn't open up. So here's a workaround. Thank you to Nick Donaldson from Infrasonic Audio for this method. First, click this, and then click on Show Package Contents. Next, open the Contents folder, and then open the Mac OS folder. Finally, double-click the Setup STM32 Q Programmer installer file, and wait for a few moments. Cool, so it finally opened up and the rest is just following the wizard prompts. And let's confirm that it was installed. Cool. Okay, now we can go back to the DAISY wiki and we'll go down to the install the DAISY Duino library step. In the Arduino IDE, go to sketch, include library, and click on manage libraries. Then search DAISY Duino and install. While at it, let's install the U8G2 library, which will add OLED support. Now we're ready to embed a program into DAISY using the Arduino IDE. We'll flash the classic Blink program that's in the examples folder, so let's open it up. By the way, this code will work on DAISY without any modification. Okay, let's connect DAISY to the computer via USB cable. Before we can upload the code, we need to configure the settings. First, go to Tool, Board, STM32 MCU based boards, and then click on Generic STM32 H7 series. Next, go to Board Part Number and select DAISY Seed. There's also an option for DAISY Patch SM if you're using that. In USB support, click on CDC Generic Serial Super Seed US Art, because we're using the USB for serial in our case. As for USB speed, click low full speed since we're using the built-in USB port. But if you're using the USB pins on the pinout, click the high speed as full speed option. 
Finally, in the upload method, we'll click on DFU and I'll talk about this SWD option in a few minutes. In order to flash a program, we need to put Daisy into bootloader mode beforehand. Press and hold this boot button, press and hold the reset button, let go of reset, and finally let go of boot. Okay, in the Arduino IDE, press the upload button right here, and Daisy's onboard LED should start blinking. Awesome, success! If you encounter an issue, don't be discouraged. Please double check that you're not using a power only USB cable. DAISY requires a USB cable that can transfer data. And for Windows users, you may need to reset your USB driver using ZDIG, which you can learn more about in our previous video or in the wiki. If you see running program address 0x80000 start operation achieved successfully, but the LED does not blink, press the reset button on DAISY and you should see it blink now. Also, you may see error, start operation failed in the console, but this is perfectly normal. Finally, we included a link in the description for our troubleshooting page, and there's a section for Arduino that may solve your problem. As mentioned earlier, every time we want to flash a new program, we need to put DAISY into bootloader mode beforehand, but we can actually skip this step by using an ST link, which you can get from our website. For me personally, it's been super convenient, so let's learn how to use one. Plug the connector to ST-Link in this direction like this. And then we can connect it to Daisy C's headers right here. Make sure the rest stripe is facing the opposite of Daisy's USB port like this. And make sure to center it so that they are on an even number of pins on either side of the connector. Then connect ST-Link to your computer's USB port. Finally, we can connect Daisy to the computer the usual way using the onboard USB port. So two USB ports on your computer will be used. To flash a program with the ST-Link connected to DAISY, we only need to change one setting. And that's the aforementioned SWD option in the upload method. After changing it to SWD, we can just simply hit upload. No more pressing the boot and reset buttons. Now that we can flash a program into DAISY, what's next? Well, we are using DAISY after all, so let's get some sound happening. I recommend flashing the tone program in the Daisy Duino examples. I'll go into more detail in the future, but if you're using Daisy Seed, here's how to connect an audio jack. As we can see, there are a bunch of example codes that we can try out and also analyze. When I was first getting started, I analyzed various example codes to understand how Daisy worked. Of course, we'll make more Daisy Duino tutorial videos, but if you want to get a head start, I recommend starting out with the oscillator example. This code uses the familiar read function so you can learn how to map a sensor data to a synth parameter. I would like to remind you that we do have a forum and Discord. Please feel free to share what you're working on and ask questions. I'll see you there. As always, please do comment below what kind of videos you would like to see. I'll always take requests. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.